Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kanaya Nicole. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not, hey! So I know it's been a minute since y'all seen me on YouTube or anything for real, but the school year, well, it didn't start. I was still recording while the school year was going on, but the school year kind of kicked up gear and I really haven't been on YouTube since then. But as you can see from the title of today's video, I'll be doing a, what's it called? A cold girl makeup look tutorial basically because I will be doing vlogmas this year, but I'm doing it my way because I know I won't be able to keep up consistently vlogging every day and editing every day in the midst of mid not midterms, in the midst of finals going on. So yeah, I took one today. I have another one tomorrow. The semester is almost over. But I still will be doing my, um, what's it called? My Vlogmas, like two videos a week. So this will be my first Vlogmas video. Hold on. And today's date is De Tuesday, December 5th. And I was supposed to record this yesterday, but once again, school. So if you want to go ahead and learn how to do this look, go keep watching. All right, y'all. So y'all see me going in with my La Roche Posay Tolerain Double Repair Facial Moisturizer. Um, of course, I started on clean, dry skin, but I'm gonna go ahead with this moisturizer. Okay, so the next moisturizer that I have is the Dermalogica Skin Recovery one. Um, it has SPF 50, which is why I'm adding it on top of my La Roche Posay. On top of adding just some extra moisture to my skin since it is winter time and it is cold okay so continuing on the theme of moisture i'm gonna go in with my bobby brown vitamin enriched face base it's a moisturizing primer that i like to put on to make sure i'm very moisturized and nothing is cracking or cakey all right so the next primer i have is the elf power grip primer with the niacinamide in it i like this primer because it makes all my makeup really stick to my face all day and it doesn't dry me out or irritate my skin at all Okay, so the next step, I'm going to take my Morphe Brow Freeze or whatever it's called, Supreme Brow, and use that to lay out my um, eyebrows and make sure everything is flat and how I want them to lay because they were not done in this video. Okay, to start off my base, I'm going to go in with my Juvia's I Am Magic Concealer in the shade J13. And I'm basically going to take that anywhere where I feel like I need to spot conceal and basically anywhere that needs to be concealed on my face. I like to cover the areas by my nose because my nose gets really, really red. After blending all that out with that beauty blender, I'm going to take my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray and I spray this spray in between each step because like I said, it's winter, it's cold, and my skin is very dry. And I like to blend from the bottom up so my face will be lifted instead of looking dragged down. That's the way to get a really good bright eye and lifted effect when doing your makeup. Next, you'll just see me taking a Morphe concealer brush. I like to go in after I use my makeup blender or beauty blender with a brush to ensure that nothing is splotchy or patchy. And now I'm also going in with another different beauty blender to make sure there's no line of demarcation where you can see the foundation and concealer come together. Now I'm going to take my Brim Beauty foundation in the shade, I believe, Tan 9W. I'm just going to place a couple dots all over my face. Now I'm just taking this random flat, I don't know what kind of brush this is, I'm not going to lie, 
I probably got it from the beauty supply store a couple years ago, but I'm taking that brush and spreading all my makeup out before I use a beauty blender to blend it all together. I do this so my makeup looks more airbrushed and not so cakey. And here you see me going back in with the beauty blender again to make sure everything is blended beautifully. All right, now you guys see me going in with my Morphe Soft Filter Effect Concealer in the shade Medium 16. I'm going to use this shade as a highlight shade for any areas that I want to highlight. So that's going to be anywhere in my T-zone from my cupid's bow, my chin, um, the inner corners of my eyes, and down the bridge of my nose, and down the mid well, in the middle of my forehead. Once again, the setting spray in between every step is going to really make sure your face or your skin isn't dry while wearing makeup. Now I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I honestly could not tell you what shade this is um, because, yeah, I just don't know what shade it is. It's wiped off on the bottom, but that was used as an even brighter brightening concealer but it didn't really work that much it literally looked the same as a morphe one I promise y'all it looked like I used a lot of concealer in this look, and it is because I did, but now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Medium Sand, and I'm just putting that right in the corner, or light sand, sorry, right in the inner corner so it can really, really look bright and give it that pop of brightness that I'm going for. Next, I'm going to go in with my Black Opal um, Foundation Stick in the shade Carob. I use the foundation stick as a bronzer or contour because it's a lot easier to use. And it's very creamy and maneuverable, if that's a word. Next, I was just showing y'all the Real Technique brush I used to blend out this contour. And I didn't really do a lot because I don't like a heavy contour look. But yeah. And I forgot to mention that while I was putting on the contour, I was letting that concealer sit so I could have a little bit more coverage than I had before. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the cold look. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. putty blush. I'm not sure of the shade, but I know it is a really, really bright pink. And I'm just going to keep adding on more and more until it gets to the pigment that I like. And for this look, you really don't have to be scared with the blush because you really want to look like you're actually cold and very blushed. So I went ahead and put that on my forehead. I dragged it up to like right under my eyebrows. Next to set everything in place, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder Foundation in the shade 235 on my e.l.f. powder puff and just go in my inner corner. I kind of messed up the bright under eye with this because the foundation is exactly my shade now that it is winter time so i'm gonna go have to go back and fix that and y'all will see that
now to fix the under eye not looking so bright i'm gonna go in with the laura mercier translucent setting powder in hopes of making it a little bit brighter i think it did something a little bit not that much though now i'm gonna go in with my bare minerals generation nude um call my blush blush it's like this really rosy pink it's a little bit darker and deeper than the putty blush but i put that on top because you really couldn't see the putty blush anymore under all that powder and i decided to add a lot of blush because yeah we gotta look cold okay now i'm going in with my Too faced maximum plump lip injection i don't know why i did this because as you can see well i don't know if that was a reaction or not but this stuff burns like it had been a minute since i used it and it burns so bad Now, while that um, lip injections is setting onto my lips, I'm going to go ahead and start on my eyebrows. Sorry, I went out the frame like 30 million times. So this is the best angle that I got for y'all. I really did a soft, natural brow for this look. Next, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop palette. And I'm just going to take the white shade and the goldish green shade for my inner corner of my eye. And that's how you see me applying it right there. And I messed up on the inner corner a little bit. So I went ahead and took a smaller fluffy brush just to blend that out a little bit more. Next, I'm going to take my Juvia's Place Warriors 2 palette and take that white shade and put it down the bridge of my nose and on the button of my nose to give it like a really cute highlighted look without it being shimmery. And I only use a little bit because it can look a little bit crazy and overbearing if you go too heavy handed with the eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to go in with the MAC Magic Extensions Mascara and just apply that to all of my lashes. I like to get a good <clears throat> two to three coatings of this because it really lengthens and volumizes your lashes and makes them look almost like falsies. Once again, I was halfway out of the frame for half of this process, so this is the best angle that I have. Next, I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Superhero No Tuck Gel Liner. And yes, if you have sensitive eyes, I don't think that is the liner for you. But I just put that in my waterline. You can see the tear on my face right there. But now I'm just taking this Beauty Supply Store Liquid Eyeliner and drawing a little wing on both of my eyes.
Next, I'm going to take my Kaylin Collection by Mariah Kaylin Matte Lip Liner in the shade Sweet Tea. And I'm just going to outline my lips with this. It's a really creamy, buttery, and smooth lip liner. And it just gets the job done really well. It's also very pigmented. Next, I'm going to take the Kaylin Collection Lip Gloss in the shade Blush, which is like this pinky, peachy, light nude color. I really like it a lot. It's like almost perfect for the ombre look. Okay, y'all, I had to come off from the, well, not come off from the voiceover part, but this part isn't going to be a voiceover because this one product is for my brand nicole lux collection oh sorry i changed the name nicole lux company um we have like li liquid lipsticks lip glosses and soon to come lip liners if you want to shop go ahead and click the link down below although the shop is not open yet be on the lookout for the drop date when everything is coming out so this shade oh if it'll come out the box I don't want to mess up the box. Um, this is the Pure Nude shade, which is caramel. It's very... Oh, and it also comes in the lip gloss tube with a mirror and LED lights. So, let's say you out somewhere and you can't really see, like, the club or a bar and you're like, Ugh, I can't see. Or if you're in the car and you're like, Ugh, I can't see comes with lights and a mirror so you could just do a little one too but i'm about to show y'all the color well not it's pure color because obviously it's going to be mixed in with the two other ones but and it's not super thick or what's it called um sticky it really feels like very moisturizing and as y'all can see it's the perfect nude because it went on top beautifully so yeah make sure y'all check that description box down below for my nicole lux collection nicole lux company lip glosses and lip liners coming soon Okay, now that everything is set with powders, I'm going to go ahead and finish off with that Morphe Illuminating Setting Spray as well as the Urban Decay All Nighter Matte Setting Spray because even though I need to be moisturized, I really do like a matte look. Alright y'all, so the look is all done. As you can see, I really like it a lot, especially this nude lip and then the fact that the blush is so, what's the word for it? pigmented there you go it's so pigmented it really makes me look cold i really think the addition of the highlight on the nose and the inner eyes really brought everything together but i hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you want to see more videos like this from me go ahead and like that like button hit the subscribe button turn on the notifications so you can be notified every time i post and yeah